so with this i enter the next part called as a layout layout is actually the process of creating a physical structure for the schematic so that our design goes for fabrication and we create a specific ic uh, that is fabricate a specific ic so the layout is a process wherein we do this transformation and the output file of the layout is what the fabrication instruments understand so we enter the next part called as a physical layout so this is the layout of our cmos inverter this becomes the pmos we have made it as 2 micron this is our nmos which is at 0.5 micron this is our vdd this is our vss and the one here is our input and the one in blue here is our output so this makes our cmos inverter layout creating a simple cmos inverter is pretty much the same as far as any tool is concerned so we have to go to this create tlg tlg stands for tcl line group and tsl tcl is tool command language any tool based on this vlc technology would be following this tcl language so tlg example a pmos you see a pmos with 2 micron uh, width here so i'm designing a different kind of pmos here this is also a pmos but the length is more as such here create another instance let's say a nmos of the same size now we have to connect to path there are different metal layers each of the components has and the path that is the connection has to be in different metals so these are the big list of metal layers and each will will be having a different color code so that it will be helpful for us to understand during the large layer designs so we create a lay path and this to this connection so this is how a small connection is made as far as the layout is concerned so designing like this we go for the complete CMOS inverter layout design but here what we have done is we have used the standard set of libraries existing libraries and we have actually designed a layout this is basically from this standard set of cells it is in fact these PMOS and NMOS from here have been chosen and brought to this layout window so this is actually called the standard cell approach so through the standard cell approach we can even call it as semi custom VLSI there is also something called as full custom VLSI wherein you create all these instances separate say for example you do the connections like this make each and every contact separate this and create in path like this and put it inside of the 
this one so you can even create everything separate like this and form this uh, symbols in Bertram basically these are the two differences the, le the one you see on the left side is through standard cell approach but this one is more of a full custom VLSA where each and every contact and a connection is made with your like not not using the library but I would say more of a hand drawing so that's what it is called so this is creating uh, layout is concerned it takes little extra time as far as the schematic is concerned so just skip this part I will delete whatever we have designed right now so this is the process of creating a layout now we believe uh, we have understand the process of creating layout with this I enter the next part wherein after the creation of layout it has to be checked that is verified verification and testing forms one of the Im most important parts of VLSI design and in India there is a lot of work happening in verification so I would say there are two, two steps of verification first is called DRC the design rule check the design rule check is used to check if our layout is as per the industry standard as far as the width of the components and the spacing between the components are concerned so let's say in our design we have got a PMOS here, a NMOS here some uh, the VDD, ESS, B-channel substrate, N-channel substrate, input and output if all these components or the path that is the connection are as per the industry standard of the width and the spacing between the components so to check that we follow the design rule check FDRC this is the okay so we have to go to this TKCon window see this total violation for all checks is zero this thing there are no errors in this design let us try to create an error wherein the path width or the spacing could be an error so create path would be fine size so this has created a path so what I'll do is I'll just select this cache this cache and put it here somewhere here So I've created a path and put it inside our design. Now I'll do a DRC, FDRC, OK. If you go and see the TKCon window, it says total violation for all checks is 3. That is 3 errors are existing. To check what these errors are, you have to go to this place where 1 width violation for layer M1 with width less than 0.16. So this says one width violation is there wherein the width is 0.16 less than 0.16 there are two spacing violations for with the separation between the two components is less than 0.16 but we don't know where this error is existing exact location of these errors to check the exact location of these errors we have to go to this part of verification called as violation stepper violation stepper it says width is less than 0.16 and if you see here it is highlighting in green this part is highlighting in green saying that our width of that particular path is less than 0.16 so if you go to the next type of error there are two types of error one is the width the other is a spacing so if you click next type it is hi it automatically zooms in and says it, it's highlighting as red here in red color that is the width is less than 0.16 one error here the other is at the bottom you see if you follow my cursor it's highlighting at the bottom 
so totaling three errors first is a width error the next two are the spacing error two spacing errors I mean so to rectify it it is very simple say for example we'll rectify the width first here it says the path width is point 0.12 but the rule is has to be minimum 0.16 so I maybe I'll just put it as something larger than 0.16 so 0.2 is ok yeah I have increased the size of the path and I have moved it away so if you do it if you do the DRC again total violation for all checks is zero that is we have rectified the spacing error there were two errors so we have rectified both errors and the width there was one error so we have rectified both so the design as such is what the DRC does is it checks only the spacing between the components and the width it is not bothered about how many extra components are there how less the components are there it is just bothered about the spacing and the width as per the industry standard so I'll just delete this and uh, the DRC is over